How do people do this? Alrighty then. Your mirror is deceiving you, babes. Oh, it's stuck. These curls are actually making me feel a little bit sick. I can't stand it. Wig videos. The video where channels come to die. In my personal opinion, I feel like wig videos are a bit of a waste of time. And what do I like to do in my free time? Waste it, of course. I've picked up five different wigs on Amazon. We've got a variety of lengths, a variety of colours, possibly a variety of quality. Although, to be honest with you, Huns, five wigs for 70 quid, I don't think any of them are going to be particularly good quality. I can't believe this is how I'm spending my day today. I have officially hit rock bottom. Woo! Just a quick little disclaimer as well. Well, I have only worn a wig once in my life for a fancy dress party. It wasn't a good kind of wig, dressed up as Cheryl Cole, because obviously she came to the forefront of my mind when I heard it was a fancy dress party. So I'm by no means a wig expert. You can get really expensive wigs. Some people spend like 200 quid on a wig. Not me, honey. I'm not about the wig life. So this video is going to be an absolute shambles, but let's get on with it. Oh my God, I forgot about this step, but the wig cap, this is going to be the worst I've ever looked on the internet. Also, is this a sock? Potentially. Wow, I already look like Phil Mitchell. I mean, that's gone well. Remember when you were a kid at school and you used to have to put a swimming hat on and they always said, start at the back. How do people do this? I've got an Amazon delivery arriving today. Can you imagine if it arrived now? So the first wig of the day, go hard or go home, we're starting with the black one. This has got some sort of fringe in it. It's a little bit wavy. It's actually got a really nice wave to it that looks really pretty. It feels okay. Oh no, it doesn't. It feels like greasy hair. This is called the Attractive Woman Mid-Length Layered Curly Wig. Attractive Woman, we'll see about that. This is not an enjoyable experience. Alrighty then. The thing that's difficult about this wig is the fringe is too long like it goes in my eyes how is it meant to sit i've had a fringe in the past and i think it's fair to say that the fringe life is not for me also i have no idea if i've put this on right i feel like it looks really fake let me know in the comments down below if you saw me walking down the street wearing this wig would you think it's my real hair i'm gonna rate this wig a six out of ten because it doesn't feel atrocious it doesn't suit me but the wig isn't bad it was only 13.99 so for 14 pounds i'm not that mad about it next up we're going for the pink. This was actually the most expensive wig that I picked up. And by expensive, I mean $16.99. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, that's very long. I'm loving the dark root, very trendy. It feels a lot nicer quality than the last wig. It feels really soft. This one's got little grips at the front to hold it in. Ow. Oh dear. Oh, I've sat on it. Have I? <laughs> Do you know what? The color of it, I don't hate, but this bit looks so fake. I think if you get a lace front wig, it makes it look more real. However, what I do know is that the bottom part looks all right. So let's whack a beanie on. How do girls make beanies look cool? In the viewfinder, I just look like an absolute melon. When I'm looking in the mirror, it actually looks quite good. And then I look in the viewfinder, I think, Han, your mirror is deceiving you, babes. But look how long this is. Da da. Da 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 May, why is it literally down to my hips, please? I don't know what a good quality wig feels like, but this one feels a lot nicer than the last. Do you know what? This is gonna get an eight out of 10 from me. This bit's not perfect, but I like the blended root. Feels nice quality. I love the color of it. But anyway, my next wig, gonna be a ginge. Do you know what? I absolutely love ginger hair. I always wished that I was ginger when I was little. So this feels kind of similar to the black one. Like it feels a little bit greasy. Lovely. This one looks a bit weird on the inside. And this is actually the second cheapest wig that I bought. So this was $12.99. Oh my God, I'm gonna look like the little mermaid. Let's whack her on. Oh, it's stuck. Oh my God, come off me, please. I'm stuck. What an actual disaster. Oh my God, now I can put disaster in the title. Ow, honey. Oh my God, I'm a free woman. Okay, wig number three of the bunch. I feel like this one is gonna look better than the black one because it's not as dark. Dark. Oh, those famous last words. This won't look as bad. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? What's this one about? I didn't think it was gonna be as short as this. The worst thing about this wig is that if you lift it back, you can literally just see the edge of it. Again, it's this line that's the problem. It's literally just like head hair. Where's the graduation? Do you know what I mean? In the viewfinder, I'm looking very washed out, but in person, I actually don't mind my hair this colour. Maybe we need another hat. Okay, so I've gone for this little faux fur headband. Whack this on, and it honestly changes it. I'll just poke myself in the face. It honestly changes it so much, though. Like, I think this looks kind of cute. It's very uneven, though. Like, look at this length. Found a solution. I just tilt my head a bit. I can actually imagine this, though, with a cute little jacket on, off to winter wonderland with your fur headband. 
little hot chocolate, possibly looking more like a middle-aged art teacher who's not really loving life, maybe on the verge of a breakdown. She's a little bit mental, but you love her anyway because she lets you go to lunch early. Getting more of that vibe than a magical mermaid vibe. Next up, we have a wig in a box. <gasps> you get a little comb with this one. Mate! Oh, this is the second most expensive one. So this one is £16.85. This one's winning for value for money already. Obviously, you've got your wig cap. Every single one of these wigs came with a wig cap. Oh, it's even got instructions of how to put your wig cap on. I've done that wrong. Never mind. In a little sandwich bag. Would rather it be a sandwich, not gonna lie. Oh. That doesn't look cute. But I'm gonna try it on in its raw state. This one's got a little bit of a fringe at the side. Kind of like how I cut my hair impulsively the other day. Right, let's get me Scandinavian vibes gone. <laughs> That's gone well. <laughs> These curls are actually making me feel a little bit sick. How does one make this look better? Quick public service announcement. If I am ever thinking about dyeing my hair brown, Please, someone remind me of this exact moment and how much I hate it. Seriously, the ones with the fringe are so difficult. This wig is by far my least favourite. Let's get it off, I can't stand it. But anyway, the final wig. This is the second of the bougie looking wigs. This one, I feel like I've saved my favourite until last. So we've got a dark grey root. It goes down to lighter grey. This one's got a lovely curl. See, look, nice curl, awful curl. Do we see the difference, girls? You wanna be like this, not like this. It feels really soft, really nice quality. I love that it's like cut a bit shorter at the front, longer at the back. Mate, this is a nice one. Let's put her on. We don't stand you, sister. Look how pretty this looks at the back though. Well nice, mate. However, the front of it, I feel like it looks like a really classic wig. But honestly, look how nice this is at the bottom. You know how we fix the weird hairline. Oh my God, I've never felt so hip and trendy in my life. I am 100% keeping this wig. This one is actually the cheapest wig that I got. So this is 10.99, absolute barg. For just 11 pounds, you can feel much cooler than you actually are. You babes have found your new home. I'm gonna rate my final wig a solid nine out of 10 because the hairline's not perfect, but other than that, I absolutely love it. When it's cold outside, Perfect. You've got your wig cap. You've got the wig. You've got the beanie. Keeping your actual barnet nice and toasty. But anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. What I have learned from this video is that I only suit light hair colours. I am definitely a blonde. Blonde of the hair, blonde of the heart. Let me know in the comments down below, which of these wigs do you think looks best on me? Which one do you think looks worst? I think it's definitely the brown one. Mate, that's not staying here. That's going straight back to the Amazon warehouse. Do subscribe to see my future videos. I promise you, it's only up from here. I've done a wig video now. But anyway, have a lovely week and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.